Hello everyone. So let us try to solve this particular problem. This is all about quantum mechanics problem. And this problem was asked in December 2023. It's a very nice problem, very conceptual, and you need a little bit of acumen of the uh, solving and approximation. So this is a very straightforward, but yes, it's a nice problem. So the potential is given, and this potential is V0 theta x minus lambda delta x. What is theta x? So theta x is nothing but heavy side step function. And delta x is your favorite Dirac delta function. So what we have to do, we have to find the basically reflection coefficient if E is very, very greater than V0 as well as V0 is greater than lambda. So there are two parameters. One is V0, another is lambda. So energy is greater than all these two. And uh, it is also given root under 2me is greater, greater than V0 h upon lambda is also given. So let us try to go for this particular problem. How we can solve this one? <clears throat> so what is this particular potential? So when we will go for this potential, this potential is all about Vx is equal to V0 theta x minus lambda delta x. And what is theta x? So first let's try to go for theta x. Theta x is basically heavy side function and it will just plot it like this. So because its value is v0, so this is at, so this is something like a step function. And lambda x we all know. So if we will try to see the complete potential, the vx will look like something like at it, this point we have Dirac delta and after then we have this one. And what is our energy? Our energy is greater than V0. So this is our energy. So this is energy of a particle. So how we will go for this? So first we have to just uh, write this particular Vx. So this Vx is equal to 0 if x is less than 0 and that value is equal to V0 minus lambda delta x if x is greater than equal to 0. So this is the story of potential and uh, we all know that energy is greater than this particular potential. So all reason is classical allowed reason and the potential is almost a constant in both reason. So what we have a solution of Schrodinger wave equation is nothing but simply a oscillatory solution. So what will be the solution? The psi 1 x is basically a e to the power i k1 x plus b e to the power minus i k1 x. And what is i my k1? k1 is equal to root under 2 m e upon h cut square. And this is for x is less than 0. And if we will go for psi 2x, that value is equal to c e to the power i k2x, x is greater than or equal to 0. So this is your solution. So what will happen? The wave function is continuous in the region. So this is continuous. So we will just check its continuity at x is equal to 0. So when we will go for that, then what we have? Psi 1 at x is equal to 0 is equal to psi 2 at x is equal to 0. That will give you a plus b must be equal to c. So this is my first uh, very important relationship. And what we have to do, we have to actually find basically reflection coefficient. So reflection coefficient is nothing but b by a mod square. What I can assume, this is my incident wave, this is my reflected wave, and this is all about the transmitted wave. And all reason is classical allowed reason. So why we have this type of solution which is oscillatory in nature. Now, let us try to see what is going to happen in this region. In this region, what is going to happen where Dirac delta function is there. 
So we will write the solution of Schrodinger wave equation into that region and then we will try to solve it. So let's try to go for into this region. So when we will go for this one, so this is my potential and here is my Dirac delta with the negative. So what we will do, we will just take this minus epsilon and here with plus epsilon and here we will just talk about epsilon tends to 0 and we will write the uh, solution into this particular region. So this will be minus h cut square upon 2m d square psi upon dx square plus v naught minus lambda delta x psi x and that value is equal to e psi x. What we will do, we will just try to go to integrate this whole in equation from minus epsilon to plus epsilon, from minus epsilon to plus epsilon and we will also take dx, we will also take dx minus epsilon to plus epsilon dx. So when we will go for all this uh, calculation, then what will happen? This particular term is minus h cut square upon 2m and this is all about d psi upon dx and that value is from minus epsilon to plus epsilon plus v naught psi x dx is 0. So we can just put v naught psi x dx minus epsilon to plus epsilon minus lambda minus epsilon to plus epsilon delta x psi x dx and that value is equal to e psi x dx minus epsilon to plus epsilon and where epsilon tends to 0. So this value is 0 because this is just we are talking about a point and area under the point is 0. So why this value is also 0. So what I have, I have this value is minus h cut square upon 2m and this value is d psi 1 upon dx sorry this will be 2 because this in here and now d psi 1 upon dx and this value is 0 this value is minus lambda psi 0 and again this value is 0. So now we will just try to write all the equation so this value we will just try to write here and what is psi 2 psi 2 is nothing c e to the power i k 2 x psi 1 is nothing but a e to the power i k 1 x plus e to the power minus i k 1 x and with b we have just we can just see all these things so this is my psi 1 this is my psi 2. So let us try to write this all thing so when we will put it here then what I have minus h cut square upon 2m first we have to just differentiate psi 2 then what we will get c i k 2 first we will differentiate and then put x is equal to 0 so just you will differentiate then c i k 2 will be there minus and here we will get a e to the power sorry a and we will when we will differentiate it then what we will get we will get something i k 1 minus b i k 2 and that value is equal to lambda psi 0 and what is your psi 0? Psi 0 is nothing but we can write a plus b. So we can easily use the condition for uh, basically the boundary condition of the continuity. So we can just put this value. Here we have to find the reflection coefficient. So we have to just take the ratio between b by a. So we can also replace this particular c here. So when we will replace this particular c here, we will have h cut square upon 2m. This is c can be written as a plus b i k2 minus a i k1 plus b i k1. This will be i k1 not k2. This will be i k1. This will be i k1. And that value is equal to lambda a plus b. And from there we can write a plus b 
आई के टू माइनस ए आई के वन प्लस बी आई के वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू एम लेमडा अपॉन एच कट स्क्वायर ए प्लस बी सो वॉट वी विल डू फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल कलेक्ट द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ ए एंड देन वी विल कलेक्ट द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ बी एंड वी कैन इजिली फाइंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ए एंड बी सो आई हैव जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड विथ माई सेल्फ सो यू कैन इजिली फाइंड ऑल दिस कंडीशन सो वेन यू विल फाइंड दिस थिंग सो देन बी बाई ए कैन बी देयर एंड दिस इज योर टू एम लैमडा अपॉन एच कट स्क्वायर प्लस आई के वन माइनस के टू एंड हेयर इज यू हैव टू एम लैमडा अपॉन एच कट स्क्वायर प्लस आई के वन प्लस के टू एंड नेगेटिव साइन इज ऑलवेज देयर इज ऑल्सो देयर बट दैट विल बी नॉट मेक एनी सिग्निफिकेंट बिकॉज वी हैव टू टेक मॉड स्क्वायर सो अल्टीमेटली वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिफ्लेक्शन कॉफिशेंट and this reflection coefficient is b by a mod square so now you can see this is nothing but a complex number so when we will use this particular square term then mod b by a square is equal to 4 m square lambda square plus k1 minus k2 whole square by h cut to the power 4 and here we have 4 m square lambda square h cut to the power 4 plus k1 plus k2 whole square now we will put the value of k1 and we will put the value of k2 so this reflection coefficient can be written as 4 m square lambda square h cut to the power 4 and here we have root under 2 me upon h cut square minus 2 me Minus v naught upon h cut square whole square, and here we have four m square lambda square h cut to the power four, and here we have two m e upon h cut square plus two m e e minus v naught upon h cut square whole square. So now there are. two approximation the first approximation is that e is greater than v not so first we will go for that approximation and second approximation is v not is greater than lambda that means e is also greater than lambda so we have these two approximation so when we will go for this approximation what we will do we have this r is equal to 4 m square lambda square h cut to the power 4 and we will take root under 2 me common so square is there so we have 2 me upon h cut square is outside and we have 1 minus root under 1 minus v not by e whole square and in the denominator what we have 4 m square lambda square h cut to the power 4 2 me upon h cut square here 1 plus root under 1 this value is minus v not by e h cut square so now let us see what is going to happen if v not by e tends to 0 so then this value is 0 this is 1 minus 1 is 0 so this whole term will vanish but because this is negative sign so 1 minus 1 is 0 here this can be also gone so here 1 plus 1 will be remain there so this is 2 we will square it then it will four times so this will be 8 so what will be this reflection coefficient i am using this space so this reflection coefficient is actually this reflection coefficient is 4 m square lambda square h cut to the power 4 4 m square lambda square h cut to the power 4 and here we have 8 m e upon h cut square so this is approximately this value there now what we will do when we will see the option then obviously we have to go for further approximation so what we will do we will just try to divide denominator and denominator with this number so when we are going to divide this then this will be 1 plus 1 
and what will happen m will be come here so we are just going to divide h square will be there so what we have we have basically so 2 e upon h square to square upon m lambda square and what will happen e is very very greater than lambda so this whole term is very very bigger than this one so this can be written as m lambda square upon 2 e h square to square so this can be easily because we are just taking approximation e is very very greater than lambda so this will be very big number comparison to this one so we can write in this term so this will be m lambda square 2 e h square to square so let's try to see whether any answer is going to matching or not so when we are going for this one so this is m lambda square upon 2 e h cut h square or h cut square is there so yes option number 3 is the correct one so students when we are solving this type of problem the thing is that you have to go with the step by step solution and you cannot avoid any step or any calculation and finally there are very nice approximation this approximation is not very tough but yes this question is actually the test of your uh, patience so just do it with yourself and let me know if you have any another output uh, input or not thank you